Hello YouTubers, um, it's been quite a while since I made a YouTube video and you know I uh, switched my service to um, T-Mobile and you know because of their popular um, campaigns that they've been doing recently I thought that I would do this video um, for people who have T-Mobile service or are thinking of getting T-Mobile service or maybe you know you have T-Mobile service but you get terrible reception in your home what what this device is is um it's a T-Mobile RS2 uh, Selfie uh, stimulant booster device and what this does is that if you have um poor reception in your house um you can call T-Mobile and get one of um these devices and this will capture your cellular signal and repeat it basically inside your home and it works quite well um for the most part but I think this is a lot better than what other carriers uh, provide because what they do is, you know, you buy their device for like $200 or whatever and you, um, it basically piggybacks on your home internet connection, you know, um, where if you have like a 5 megabit connection, then it's leeching off of that pretty much, um, to get, to bring a cell signal in your home and, you know, this is just a standalone device. Um, you just plug it in and go, basically. Um, this is the repeater module. There's actually two devices that come uh, with this. One is the repeater and one is the uh, signal capturing device, which I'll film uh, later on. And this, the difference between the RS2 and the RS1 device is that the RS2 model repeats the AWS band and the PCS band uh, 4G. Um, the RS1 only does AWS. So if you have like an iPhone, for example, um, and you get like one bar of 4G or 3G or whatever, um, you will only get one bar on the RS1 device, whereas the RS2, you might get, you know, four or five. Uh, that's the only difference, uh, basically. I don't know if this actually performs better than uh, the RS1 device. But um, I put this in my basement because if I place this anywhere in my home, the counter only goes to like three or four. Ideally, you want it to go seven, eight, or nine. Um, the higher the number, the further away the device is um, than the signal capture uh, device. And apparently, I think if um, the number is higher, the stronger of a signal it'll put out, so um, you'll get better coverage if you have a higher number. Um, the question now is, does this thing work? Well, uh, let's see if my camera can focus on this. Come on. All right, I'll be back. Okay, sorry about that. Had a bit of focusing issues. Um, as you can see, I have full four bars of uh, 4G. And uh, the signal booster works quite well. Um, it repeats data and voice. Um, it's not just voice that it's, you know, repeating. So um, here's a little speed test demo. Uh, you know, it's quite all right. Um, six, 6.5, 6.6. Almost seven. Um, that, that's generally the average I get around. Um, ping is 107, so you know that's all right. Um, it's what you'd expect from you know 4G. And upload. There we go. Now with my uh, T-Mobile service, I actually get pretty decent service if I'm on the second floor. Um, no problems there, but first floor is where things get a little iffy. Um, I guess the signal just doesn't penetrate that well. The, the cell phones that I have are keen on connecting to the lower cell signal tower. I have no idea why that happens. I think it's quite weird, you know, if... I don't know. I mean, from a rational standpoint, if a cell phone says, oh, hey, I'm connected to this tower and I get a better signal, um, maybe I should just stick with it instead of switching to a low bit or low signal tower. Um, so, yeah, I don't get why that happens. Um, 
And, you know, sometimes it still happens. The uh, Solfi device doesn't completely eliminate that. And I think it's because I actually get um, pretty decent uh, signal coverage. Um, you can get one of these devices if you only have, like, one bar in your home, you know, uh, near a window, and you get, like, none in your home. Um, I can see how that would work best um, instead of in my setting where I would get maybe two or three bars, sometimes good, sometimes none. You know, um, because the, the cell phone still switches on and off. But for the most part, uh, th this device does work really well, especially in the basement here, because there's pretty much no cell signal at all. You know, without any interference, this phone doesn't switch between frequencies or whatnot. But let me show you what happens um, when I unplug this device. See the bar is going down. Now I'm surprised I still get uh, two. Let's do a speed test. Sometimes it'll go down to one, and sometimes it'll just kick me off to a uh, 2G, which I think is kind of funny because the 2G signal I get um, is a lot better. Look at that ping, 831. You can see how it's good, and then it just kind of cuts off. You see how it drops to one bar and 1.86 megabits per second. Um, yeah, so definitely not ideal, and it's pretty amazing, you know, how immediately this works. Yeah, compare that to what uh, I had been getting, which was 5 down and like 2 up or something like that. Yeah, but um, anyway, now I told you that this also works for the PCS band. I'm going to bring up an old uh, buddy of mine here. Uh, let me try to get these things configured here real quick. Meet the iPhone 3G, yes. Uh, I had gotten this device um, the same year it came out in November. Um, at the time it was a pretty good, you know, device. Um, it had 3G support, but, you know, <laughs> with how AT&T was slowly deploying 3G, um, I pretty much didn't get... 3G until like two years after I had the device by then which I had the iPhone 4 so uh, but anyway this is the original AT&T iPhone 3G device as you can see it's unlocked I have uh, shoved in a T-Mobile SIM card into it um, thank you AT&T for actually letting me unlock this thing I'm not gonna run a speed test on it because it's just kinda weird how it works but um, you know this I think this demonstration will show you that you know it does repeat the PCS band signal. So you see I'm in the basement, three bars on edge, and I'm gonna plug this device in again. So you can see the lights blinking up there. Yep, got a nine. Good. So edge. This phone is kind of weird. It doesn't it doesn't like capture onto the signals immediately. So I'm gonna turn airplane mode on. And then off. And then hopefully it'll capture the uh, 3G signal. As you can see, it says 3G. Um, and keep in mind, this isn't AWS because uh, when this phone was released, they didn't really care about T-Mobile. Um, it was just all AT&T. So this only supports um, the PCS band signal here. You know, and uh, you know, and other frequencies. But um, you know, T-Mobile doesn't have 3G bands in 850 or 1900 back then it was just AWS and um, this supports PCS only for 3G well and 850 among other bands so yeah this device works um, I have to say I'm really surprised and happy with T-Mobile um, I was only a customer for two weeks uh, 
Uh, let me get this focused before I continue. Okay, jump cut there. Um, anyway, I, like I was saying, I'm really happy with T-Mobile. I had them for two weeks, and, you know, I was having the signal issues in my home. I called them, told them about my problems, and they're like, oh yeah, let me get you to a tech support specialist, and, you know, they asked me what was wrong, and I just said my phone switching from the 1900 megahertz to the AWS band, and they're like, yeah, we'll send you one of these devices out. You live in a good um, coverage 4G area, and uh, the terms are, if you're curious, the terms are that you can keep this as long as you have T-Mobile service. Um, if you don't return it when you leave T-Mobile, they'll charge you $500 for it. So uh, be sure to keep in mind about that. And um, what, what what else was there? Um, you also need to keep the box. This is actually sitting on top of the box it came in um, when you send it back. Because if you don't, um, you have to pay them like $20 and they'll have to send you a kit out. It comes with a box and a prepaid label uh, to, sell, to uh, mail this back in. And you also need to have uh, good credit. Apparently, um, I mean, this is basically $500 worth of equipment they're loaning you out to. Um, so, if you don't have good credit, I don't know if they, like, make you pay a deposit or anything like that. Um, I have heard, though, that if you're in, like, the bottom tiers of credit, you need to pay, like, the full $500, $500 for it. Which, in that case, you're pretty much buying it, you know, outright. So, I don't know if it'd be worth it to you. But, you know, definitely a worth... Um, Something worth taking a look at uh, if you're a T-Mobile postpaid, you know, customer. This isn't available for prepaid uh, customers. So, um, yeah, I will. I'm gonna do another jump cut here, and I will show you guys where my um, signal capture device is. Okay, and this is the signal booster device. So this captures the cell tower signal and then transmits it down to the cell repeater device, and. Um, these lights here indicate that I have five full bars. Ideally, you know, it should be one or two. Um, sometimes this will drop down to three, sometimes five, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm kind of surprised with the range of um, the five gigahertz band on this because five gigahertz is, you know, it kind of dies out um, when it's transmitting between walls and all that. But, you know, it works just fine. Um, I get full 4G speeds. Uh, up here, and keep in mind that this only transmits on the 4G band, so it won't um, rebroadcast Edge or LTE. So, yeah, thanks for watching.